Blackboard is an online environment which your lecturer might use for a range of things, such as sharing course documents, learning materials and links to websites with you. They might ask you to submit your assignments through it, to take part in discussions using it, or to do a range of other things. So it is worth knowing how to use it, and in this video we will cover the very basics of how to use Blackboard. You access the Blackboard login page through the Go portal. The link is here at the top of the page. The login page gives you information that will help you as you get started with Blackboard. The first time you use Blackboard, read through this information and follow the instructions. Then when you're ready, click on the Click to log into Blackboard link. The first page you will see is your My Blackboard page, which lists the sections that you have access to for courses and modules that you are studying, as well as some generic areas which all students are given access to. We're going to have a look at one of these in a moment. But there are a few other things that you can do on this page. For example, over on the right you have some personalisation options. You can change the colour of the page to make it easier for you to read, or the layout to remove boxes that you don't use. To access a Blackboard section, all you do is click on the title. We're going to use the bottom section. As you can see underneath, there are two notification icons, one telling us that we have new discussion posts available, and one telling us we have new assignments available. And they're useful so that you can just pop into Blackboard, have a look at the My Blackboard page, and see if there is anything new in there. So we're going to click on the title to enter the course. All Blackboard sections will look slightly different, but to introduce you to the environment we'll look at a typical one. As you can see, there are three main areas to the home page. First we have a title section which has things such as links to the My Blackboard page again, back to Go and back to some help files. Over on the left we have a list of the tools that the person in charge of the section has made available. In this case we have Assignments, Discussion and Profile. Next to Assignments and Discussion there's a little green square with a, a white star on it and this tells us that there are either new discussions or new assignments that we've not had a look at yet. If I click on the word Assignments I'll be able to see all the assignments that are available. If I click on Discussions, I'll be able to see that we have two discussion boards here, although at the moment they haven't got any messages in them. And finally, you may be asked to create a profile for yourself with some very basic information and maybe a picture of yourself to help you get to know each other on the course. To get back to the page we saw first, we can click on Course Content. Here in the middle of the page are some quick links to resources. These are folders, so there may be documents within each of the folders. But your lecturer may make documents available on this home page. So that's a very simple, quick introduction to Blackboard, what it is and how to access it. 